Hi, and welcome to another Manic Monday. This is part two of the other video that I showed you where I was making some winter ray baits up. I was using this, this uh, baiting spoon, and as I explained in the last video, I, you can actually make these things yourself. Uh, basically, this is for this video. This is a large one that I've made, and basically it's out of a bit of gutter pipe. Uh, let me show you this. And this is what it is. And all I've done is I just cut down a four inch drain pipe to the same sort of shape as this one, as you can see. And I put a notch in the end so it'll hold my hook, same as this one. And basically what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna wrap some big cob baits up for my winter fishing. So what I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use the same trace line, which is just 100 pound fluorocarbon. I've got an 8 hook on here that I'm going to use for the holding panel and I've got a, a big long shank 10 -o. and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do my normal knot that I normally use for congas. I think they call it a grinner. So I'm just going to go around that line twice, make a loop over that. But instead of I normally when I'm doing the congas with 250 I just go through it twice normally but this is slightly thinner line so I'm going to go through this three or four times. I'm going to wet that and pull that tight. Okay, super strong knot. Let's cut that tag end off. <coughs> I'm going to do it the same again, about an arm's length apart. So it's about four foot and again I think this is a 2-0 swivel same as in the first one barrel swivel and I'm just going to do this knot six times round this time on here and what I do I just hook that round there so I can pull it that's it so that's the rig okay Let's get the bait out. So what I like to use for catching cod is squid and cuttle. So these are some jumbo squid. I've had these a while. Look at the size of these. Massive. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna literally just cut this straight the way down the middle. So I'm getting two baits out of that one, one piece of squid. And then in here, I've got my cuttlefish. And these are jumbos. These are what I use for my conga fishing. Look at the size of those. So I'm gonna take the bone out. It's a bit of a messy job. And that's sort of the bone you get of a cuttle. Right, and all I'm going to do with this is literally I want big baits. So I'm going to cut this one right down the middle, straight through its head. Similar sort of way that I would fish for conger. I fish these whole. I'll be honest to try and get the big congas. Right, and that's that. Now, <clears throat> I don't think it's gonna be easy, but I shall try. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the, the cuttle in here first with the fleshy side up. So that's laid in there like that. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my hook that's already on its trace. And I'm gonna hook that over that notch that I've got there and lay that down the line. And then I'm gonna get my squid and I'm gonna put the squid the other way around so that the head is up the top and the body's down the bottom. So that's like that. Now, let's see 
if I can do this. In reality, it should be the same as the way that I do the other ones, but just on a bigger scale. So you can see I'm just wrapping that round. I'm not going super tight because I want to be able to pull it off and then I will wrap it round again afterwards. But I'm trying to get that. I'm increasing the tension a little bit. So I don't want to try and get it all over my clothes. And this is a massive bait. But if you want the big ones, the big cod, and this is what you've got to use. Right, now I can start to give it a little bit more tension. I'm going to give it quite a few turns round. Okay. So that's like that. Now, I'm hoping that this will just push off of here. As I said, I've only just made this thing today, so it's a bit slippy on the hands. Let's try and see if I can get a bit of tension on it. Yeah, there you go. And there's the bait there. Now what I'll do is, while it's here, I will wrap it again a little bit tighter so I can get hold of it a bit better now and give it a bit more elastic. Then all I do is slide that A toe down here, exactly the same as I showed you in the first one. So I'll wrap that round about three times and I'm going to try and catch this head of this squid in here as well and go through it like that. So that's through. And that is my bait. Now that has got cob written all over it. Right, I've got these bigger bags. So what I'm going to do is exactly the same. I'm going to lay that in there. I'm going to have to lay this down. But once it's defrosted, it will come out fine. And then wrap this up. And lay that in there. And then I'll vacuum seal this up. And the beauty of doing it like this is, when you get out, out on the boat, all you've got to do is clip that on. You haven't got to go through this, uh, hopefully, this mess again. And you can see this bait. This is all vacuum sealed, all ready to go. So what I'll do, I'll make my, uh, I've got three more to make up, I'll make them up and see if I can uh, repeat the process. lovely there pull that touch then again get my a toe go round one two three and then just go through the skin of that cuttle and there it is what a bait all right I'll put that in the bag and vacuum seal that And there it is, vacuum sealed, ready to go. Hope you're enjoying Manic Mondays. Sorry I haven't been able to get out in the boat for the last couple of weeks, uh, but the weather uh, determines it all. But when I do go out, I'm going to be prepared. Thanks for watching. <laughs>